Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I, I thank the member for his question. And he and I both have electorates with many uh, market gardeners and fruit growers. And I've come to know people in my electorate like Anthony and Leanne at Berry Sweet Farms in Bullsbrook. And that's a couple who have worked their entire lives to build a great business employing local people. So to see all their hard work now put in jeopardy by the despicable and senseless criminal acts of a small number of perpetrators across Australia is just heartbreaking. And I know everyone in this parliament agrees that we owe it to these hardworking people and your and my electorate uh, to do everything in our power to stem the tide of this wanton and shocking behaviour. As part of this response, I can inform the House that after being tasked by the Prime Minister yesterday to provide advice as to how this parliament might improve and strengthen the offences which criminalise this grotesque behaviour, our government will proceed with urgency to effect two changes to the Commonwealth criminal law. And while the drafting is being finalised, I can inform the House as to how that drafting will generally operate. Presently, section 380 of the Criminal Code sets out what are known as contamination offences. The four existing offences relating to contaminating food with the intention to cause public alarm or anxiety, or the intention to cause significant economic loss, or the intention to cause harm to public health, they will have their maximums increase from 10 to 15 years, making them comparably serious offences, comparable to offences such as sex offences and financing terrorism, because that's what this is, a terrible and serious offence. Four new offences will also be created with 10-year maximums, and they would be created in a way that would not require proof beyond reasonable doubt of intention, but rather proof of recklessness as to outcomes. The point, members, here being that anyone who chose to argue that it couldn't be shown beyond reasonable doubt that they had the intention to cause loss or harm would no longer be able to escape prosecution and penalty. And finally, we are looking to create amendments to the sabotage offences in Division 82 of the Criminal Code. Now, this would be achieved by amending what was a relatively new definition of sabotage, which was meant to cover sabotage of uh, supply of important goods such as electricity and water, and to extend that definition to goods intended for human consumption. Now, the point here is that on a larger scale, we've recently determined that it's appropriate that sabotage include uh, electricity and water provision, but what this unprecedented criminal behaviour has shown to us is that food supply chains can be just as important to Australians' well-being and so to our national security as the provision of water and electricity. Yeah. So if I can conclude by saying while there are already serious crimes at Commonwealth law and in each of the states and the territories, this parliament has an opportunity to act in a bipartisan way to help people like Anthony and Leanne by responding even more forcefully to this type of terrible criminality. Yeah.